Hello, 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 and welcome to Stamp with Shell. My name is Shell Anderson, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I do short lunch break with Shell video tutorials Tuesdays and Thursdays at noon Central Standard Time. I also do either YouTube premiere videos or Facebook Lives Wednesday nights at 6.30. Today we are going to be having a play with the All Bundled Up stamp set. This is a really cute stamp set for Christmas and, and for friendship as well. One of, the, one of the greetings says, your friendship warms my heart. Um, it's just a nice winter fall stamp set. And I'll also be using the Layering Circles dies. My ink colors today are Memento Black and Pool Party. And my card base today is Fresh Freesia. And so I am going to switch this because I changed my mind just before the video and went with a Fresh Freesia card base. So I'm going to switch to Fresh Freesia ink. And we are going to stamp some snowflakes all over randomly all over the front of this card. Now there's only going to be a little bit of it showing, but I still want to have a little bit of interest. You know what I mean? So I'm just randomly stamping around the outside like that. Easy peasy. Now I am going to bring in the piece for the inside and while I have this here I might as well add a few snowflakes don't you think? Just down here in the corner like so. I'll add a little bit of interest there as well. Alright, now I am going to adhere this to, if I can get it picked up, the inside of my card with my favorite adhesive, Tombow Green Glue. And I'm just trying to match my borders. And I didn't do a very good job there. Let's peel that off and start again. Sometimes if you put it on the side, you can see your three sides at once down here. That makes it easier for me. All right. Next off, we have a piece of pool party. And I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of this. And give that just a wee little bit of lift to add some dimension to this card. And we'll grab our take your pick tool and get those paper backings off. There we go. So far it's pretty easy. You see those little snowflakes peeking out here and there? Isn't that cool? Alright. And of course that's on Crooked too. Let's see if we can fix that. Got in a thousand today. I guess I'm going to have to go all the way off and start again. There we go. That's better. All right. Now we're going to take this and we're just going to set this aside. Now I need a... don't even know what I do with them. There they are. I need a blending brush. So I am going to grab that and the Pool Party ink. And I am just going to... Use this post-it note to dab off the 
excess. And I'm just going to, in the center of this panel, add some ink. Just to take out some of that white darkness. This should do it. There we go. So we can attach that to our pool party mat. There we go. That's better. All right, now we're going to set that aside and leave it. And I'm going to bring in this little guy. This is, I pre-stamped with Memento Black ink prior to the video. And we are going to give him a quick little color with our Stampin' Blends. And I think he is just the cutest little guy. I love all of these little critters in this set. I'm going to do his scarf in Fresh Freesia. And then start with Pool Party Light, but I don't think it's going to be dark enough. No, it's not. We're going to go Pool Party Dark on his toque. And then I'm going to bring a little bit of the Fresh Freesia Dark to add just a little bit of shading. Not a lot, just a bit. Sorry that you're hearing my neighborhood dogs go crazy. But that's pretty much out of my control. I used Dark Parakeet Party for his eyes. Now we're going to use Light Crumb Cake, I think. Dark Crumb Cake, pardon me, for some of his fur. And then we will use light uh, soft suede for the rest. All right, how about we do the inside of his ears? All right, now light soft suede. How cute is this little fella? The only thing that would make this set better for me is if they had dyes, but I fussy cut him before the video and I must say he was very, very easy to fussy cut. So that is a bonus that it's not difficult. There's some images that we have that are more difficult, but this one's an easy one. And there's no right or wrong, you can color him whatever color you want. I'm thinking these colors are a little too close. 
in shade. So I am going to bring the crumb cake back in and try to darken up these areas a little bit. that's better. There we go. That's good enough. No more fussing. All right, we'll set that aside. I've already done my greeting. It says it's feeling a lot like Christmas and I just matted that on a piece of scrap pool party. All right, now the fun begins. Let me find piece of grid paper and we're going to put our silicone mat on here. I have die cut a circle from a window sheet and we are going to adhere. Actually I'm going to take this right away because I want to use the lines on my grid paper. And this is what I'm going to do. I am going to actually start right at the top. And then right at the bottom, I will put another one. All right, I am going to use my um, stamp and seal and I'm going to add this, pardon my head, right at the top of the circle. Right. Now I'm going to alternate, oops, get up here. I'm going to alternate colors perhaps if I can get this thing moving. Get that out of the way. And I'm just going to leave a little space in behind. And I'm hoping that when I'm done, that that um, pool party that I need an eraser because I got glue on here. And I need to get off. Um, hopefully that pool party that I sponged on the background will um, show a little bit through these strips. Can that be cool? That's the plan anyway. And I'm just seeing that I have to the edges of my adhesive under before I put it on my window sheet. That's what happened at the top there. I got, uh, I didn't tuck what was stuck over the edge. So we're just going to continue the pattern down. Tucking this in as we go. Oops, did you see that? I almost stuck it without tucking. And I have no idea what this background technique is called, to be honest. I see it all over the internet. I have no idea who invented it or if it's been around for a hundred years. I have no idea. I just decided that today was the day I was going to jump on the bandwagon and give it a whirl. All right. There we have it, glued down to our 
sheet. If that's okay, I'm going to peel it off and then we'll flip it over and I will grab my snips, maybe, and we are going to trim it off. And I know you probably can't see this, but it's very easy to just follow the edges of that acetate circle. The only thing that's going to happen is your scissors are going to get gummed up and you're going to have to clean them with some alcohol. But that's no biggie. Cool is that? All right. One side is done. <laughs> there we go. Now let's look at the front side and see if we have any areas that are weird looking. Yes, we do. Right there. That looks better. And right here. There we go. All right. Now, I am going to remove this sheet. I'm just going to fold it up so I don't have them landing everywhere. All right. Now, let's get that adhesive remover, get all those little dots of adhesive off, and now we need some foam strips. Now if you do not have the foam adhesive sheets, that's okay, actually I think I might even, bear with me a second, I do, I actually have the strips. These are one eighth of an inch strips of adhesive that makes our life extremely easy. So on the back side, make sure you're on the back side. We are going to add some of these foam strips. Now you have to be behind the cardstock so that you cannot see these strips from the opposite side. Make sense? And I am just randomly cutting some of these strips to attach them. You don't have to do every single row but you want to make sure your top and your bottom are done for sure and we'll just put this little strip on here. and I've done every I've got some on every strip except for one so I'm just going to cut another strip and put on here so it's all the same and then from the back side, there's another little funny edge. All right, so those are in the annual catalog as well as the foam adhesive sheets. And if you don't have any of those, you can take the edges of your dimensionals and cut them with your scissors. That will work too. All right, let's bring our card back in. We are going to remove all those paper packings. One thing that you need to know about these foam adhesive strips, these are taller than dimensionals. Not a whole lot, but they are taller, so they're going to give you a bit more dimension. And 
I'm just going to pop that right about, you know what? I want a little bit more up here and a little bit more down here. And I'm going to pop that right about there. I want to leave room at the bottom for my greedy. I'm going to grab some dimensionals for that as well. I'll put three of those across. Remove those backings. And pop this down on the bottom. Now, the only thing left is our little focal image. And I am going to put him on with dimensionals too. Because I can. <laughs> All right. And as I'm thinking ahead, I haven't planned out any uh, embellishments. Surprise, surprise, me not planning. So let's bring in, rhinestones are always good. Let's see if we can find something different. Adhesive, oh, those would be nice. Adhesive back snowflakes. Let's do that. Because I'm sure they have, yeah, they do. They have some pinkish and bluish tinges to them. I am going to grab my take your pick tool. And I am going to, I don't need that one. I don't want too close to being the same. Nope. It's funny how they change color when you get them over the card. There we have it. What do you think? Isn't that cute? That is our all bundled up card using the little raccoon. Cute. Love it. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. I, as I said earlier, I am here Tuesdays and Thursdays at noon and Wednesday nights at 630. I hope you can pop back in and see me again. Bye-bye.